In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mine Monero using your VPS or using your server and you can make some extra bucks as your passive income. And I'm going to show you each and everything from, from the configurations to where you're getting the server from uh, getting the pool and each and everything. So if you keep watching this video till the end, well, you will be able to make each and everything just like the balance you're seeing over here. So without wasting time, let's get started. My name is Scott from scottgg.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, mine Monero from your VPA so that you can make it as your passive income or side hustle. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to get a server and uh, there are many server providers out there which you can mine, which you can use to mine. So I'm going to use um, Amazon. You can use uh, DictorOcean, Linode, uh, Azure, Vault. So long as uh, that provider provides you root access or the first thing you want to do is uh, I'm going to create a server. So let's do one. First, you head to your preferred server provider. For this purpose, I'm going to use uh, like Amazon and uh, I'm going to use a light, a light sale uh, service. So I'll, I'll choose Linux because I'm going to use Linux and I'll choose only uh, OS only. I'm going to use Ubuntu. And uh, the next step we're going to do is to choose our server. So for the case of testing, I'm going to use uh, a small server here with a, at least 2 GB RAM but uh, you can go for a higher server with a, a more CPUs because uh, we are going to mine here we mine with a CPU so the more CPUs you're having the more RAM you're having uh, the more the better the results are so if you want to mine these things and make a uh, profitable has like you make some good cash well you need to go for some higher servers if not you need to go for servers with gpu okay now i'm going to name this one like mine test or i'm going to name it my monero or my monero okay my monero monero goes for xmr and uh, these guys don't allow uh, don't allow a space in this name so i'll delete that okay and i'll click create so our server is going to run and uh, actually it is uh, ready for for use so by the time it's getting ready let's go to another thing so the other thing we're going to do here is um we are going to get also uh, a mining pool okay so there are many ways you can get a mining pool but uh, there are many pools out there but uh, i recommend you to use this site over here so that is a uh, mining pool stats uh, it will show you all the mining pools you use in the what you need to do is to search for your preferred uh, coin which you're going to mine okay so and you choose over here you choose uh, cpu or random x and uh, you choose your preferred pool here but uh, for the purpose of this video i'm going to use this pool here xmlpool.eu and uh, this is what you're going to use to mine our monero or to mine our cryptocurrency okay now <laughs> there are many other pools you can go through and search if I told you have your own preferred but uh, the reason of going through is that you need to look at the networks the hash rates and uh, many other things to go by and uh, you have to go through and read about the reviews of the mining or the pool you're going to use as well you need to also look at uh, the minimum payment of each pool because most of the time when you go for a pool with a higher minimum payment well it will take you a lot of time for you to cash out so it is very fun like mining you know, these cryptocurrencies always fun when you can cash out uh, any amount you want so i'll go for this to these guys for the purpose of this because uh, they have a low uh, minimum like a low minimum payout <clears throat> and uh, these are the ways you can go through with them but uh, the second step we need is to get uh, the system which we are going to use to mine all the software and for the purpose of this i'm going to use xmr rig or xmr rig and uh, i've opened up its co its console here so all you need to do is to go to xmrrig.com and i'll leave the link in the description so let me go to the home page that's how it will be now we've got an ourself a server we've got an ourself a mining pool and uh the last thing we need to do is to get uh, a wallet or your monero wallet where you'll be receiving your coins and then you'll be sending them to your preferred marketplace okay now i'm going to use 
uh, this provider which is called my monero so when you head over to their main website okay let's log out okay so that's how the site will look like if you log if you open it and what we need to do here is just to select create uh, a new wallet okay now when you click create a new wallet um they will show you uh, a lot of things here which you need to go through but uh, what you need to do is to go through first create wallet write down your name memory so uh, that is kind of a secret word sequence there are a lot of words which you need to keep and uh, they act as your key so here you're not going to use accounts like sign up mm, accounts like uh, or you enter your password usernames and so on and so forth so that you're not going to have such keep it secret i uh, use it uh, like an uh, actual wallet okay and then what you need to do is to select got it we've read through and this is uh these are the sequences I've, I've, i'm telling you about in the what you need to do is to copy this and paste it somewhere onto your notepad or somewhere safe you can email it yourself or so this is kind of your account and uh, this is the only way you recover your funds so if i told you miss out with those words and uh, you misplace them so you'll be losing your coins and if someone else finds those stuffs you'll be uh will recover your account and will take your coin so keep that in mind so i'm showing you all these ones because i'm not after using this account i'm going to dispose of so well don't don't waste a lot of time trying to infiltrate this account so let's get let's continue i'm going to copy that okay and uh so we we'll click next and uh, they will try to ask us about the stuff which they gave us so when you look at this this fountain uh rusted syllabus soil so fountain rusted syllabus soil so fountain syllabus rusted soil and then we have sword and after you confirming they will bring you over to this page okay and uh, all you need to do is to copy your address so that is your address uh where the the mining pool will be forwarding your coins to so at first i never told you why we need the mining pools because you know mining this cryptocurrency needs a lot of uh, uh, uh systems with uh, uh like they need a lot of computation power and uh most of the pieces like if you have a, if you mine as a solar miner it will take you to you need a lot of uh, systems for you to get to get in a block or in a confirmed block so what you need to do is to join a pool a lot of miners around the world and you start mining together and what you do the result is that you'll be sharing the block or you'll be sharing the part which you contributed to the uh, to the completed block or to the final product which you've mined so that is the simplest way i can define a pool okay now we've gotten our server it's running here now what we need to do is to just select this server and connect through using ssh so this is what i'm i'm going to use i'm using just using uh, the console okay now i also advise you that if you're going to use these things you need an rdp so that you just keep these screens open maybe just for once so because i'm using ubuntu well the commands are not that weird what we need to do is to just uh, select uh, enter sorry about that i'm entering that command just that i want to feed the to command execute commands as root and then uh, 